What's happening, YouTube? I'm your guy Rez, and of course, you already know we are back again with another jersey video. Let's get it. So, if you guys have not seen my last jersey video I did on my Derek Thomas starter authentic, I'm having a lot of Super Bowl vibes right now. So, I'm celebrating the teams that are going to be playing in Super Bowl 55, none other than the Kansas City Chiefs and your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's going to be an interesting matchup for sure. And like I said, I just want to see some good football. Instead of focusing on the Chiefs, I'm going to put my attention towards the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this video. So I don't own that many Buccaneers jerseys in the collection. However, I do have one. And this one right here is a special one. All right, y'all. So this jersey that I am holding in my hands right here is a rare one indeed. This is the 1985 Steve Young Tampa Bay Buccaneers, AKA dubbed as the Creamsicle jersey. You all probably remember Steve Young, the legendary quarterback that used to play for the San Francisco 49ers in the 90s. However, you probably didn't know that before a 49er, he was actually on another team. Before joining the NFL, Steve Young played for the United States Football League in a team called LA Express, where he was drafted part as a supplemental draft in 1984. Dissatisfied with his contract with the USFL and LA Express, Steve Young actually bought out his own contract before signing with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFL. Now playing for a new organization and team and teammates, Steve Young thought that things were going to change immediately. However, this was not the case. Steve Young actually struggled, unfortunately. He had a 316 record with him as a starter. Threw only 11 touchdowns with 21 interceptions while competing fewer than 55% of his passes. He also remained as a backup until his ninth NFL game. Just to quote Steve Young during his tenure with the Buccaneers, he said, I ran for my life every Sunday. Not a very promising statement. Although playing in Tampa wasn't one of his fondest moments in his football career, I really do believe playing there really groomed him to be the legendary quarterback we all grew up to admire. Oh yeah, and the jersey's still dope. So this jersey right here is a very loud jersey, guys. And what I mean is the colors, they just pop, they're just in your face. I guarantee you, if you wear this from a mile away, you will be spotted, guaranteed. But I really enjoy this jersey. It took me a while to kind of get used to it, but then it started growing on me at some point in time. I actually used to have the Doug Williams Made in Korea Tampa Bay Buccaneers jersey uh, many, many years ago. But this one right here is super dope. You know, I always wanted the Steve Young Bucks jersey because I always felt like, you know, it was a time in Steve Young's career when, you know, he was going through some stuff. And I really think that it was what defined him to be as great as he was in San Francisco. So, you know, it is an honor to have this jersey in the collection, but let me break down the jersey's components and details for y'all. So this jersey has no stitching involved on the numbers or letters. You know, you have this really nice mesh right here, which is very similar to the Earl Campbell 1980 Mitchell Ness, that powder blue that I have. If you guys haven't checked that out, I will leave a link on the top right here as you can see and you can check my video review that I did on that jersey because the quality is almost identical to what this jersey has. So the jersey's number on the front as I've mentioned you know there is no stitching whatsoever. It's got this heavy screen print right here as you can see it just pressed onto the jersey. On the top left shoulder chest area of the jersey you have this really large rectangular patch that is stitched on the jersey guys and then you have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers logo at the time. I believe they used this logo from 1976 pretty much their inaugural season up until 96 and it's funny because I really didn't know too much about like the logo you know I just assumed it's a buccaneer pirate kind of put two and two together but I did some research and I found out that the, the pirate logo was actually designed by a man named Lamar Sparkman and pretty much like the whole lore behind the design was that they wanted to create something that was with a playful look but evoking danger so obviously I think the pirate is actually winking at you as he's wearing a hat, but then he has a dagger in his mouth. So it's interesting concept. I thought it was pretty interesting and dope at the same time. On the arm sleeves of the jersey, you have that red, white, and the number eight, of course, that is heat pressed onto the jersey. Working my way downwards on the bottom left portion of the jersey, you have the infamous jock tag from Mitchell Ness. Obviously, guys, you can see right there, you have that small little rectangular tag with the year, which is 1985, the year that Steve Young and the Buccaneers wore this jersey style. Then you have the Mitchell Ness Sammy Ball right there with the throwbacks and Mitchell Ness with Mark Brandy. On the neck tag of the jersey, you have that Mitchell Ness Nostalgia Company branding, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then, of course, this is one of my favorite tags right here, the neck tags, the El Salvador versions of Mitchell Ness. So if you guys don't own any El Salvador runs, 
for Mitchell Ness. I'm sorry, I can't really give you more insight, but just to kind of describe the El Salvador production runs, I think that that was one of their best jerseys that they made. But you know, you have the size 48 right there, which is equivalent to a men's extra large, guys. I know you might get confused because Nike and other jerseys now, their sizings are different. A 48 would be considered a large, but for the Mitchell Ness stuff, the 48s are extra large. This is still brand new with tags, guys. As you can see right there, the retail on this was $275, and I got a hell of a deal from this. Shout outs to my homie Armando for really hooking me up with this jersey, but I really love it. It's still brand new. He kept it in immaculate shape, as you can see with the tags right there, along with the jersey. I just love this jersey so much. Moving on the back of the jersey you have Steve Young's name that is heat pressed on right there on the nameplate and then of course you have the giant number eight for Steve Young that is also pressed on the jersey as well overall my final thoughts on the jersey is very unique very special and you know I had to have this in the collection and I'm glad that I can show this to you guys right before Super Bowl 55 you know I think is a perfect time to show this jersey but I definitely feel like this is a jersey to wear in the summertime you know or even on a nice cool like spring day you know if you really want to you know get that wow factor and you really want to turn heads I think this is the perfect jersey to wear that's pretty much going to wrap up the review on this Steve Young Tampa Bay Bucks jersey please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about this jersey are you guys fans of the Buccaneers creamsicle jerseys did you guys think they were super fire or do you guys think they're eh, not so much either way I'd love to hear what you guys think also if you like this review and video that I did for y'all please consider subscribing to the channel leave a like on the video and share this video as well you have no idea how much that helps out my channel all right and that is pretty much going to do it for my Super Bowl 55 jerseys this week I hope you guys enjoyed those back-to-back -back videos I did for y'all and also one last question who do you guys think is going to win do you think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to take it or do you think the Chiefs are going to go back to back winning championships either way I think it's going to be a fantastic matchup and I am super stoked all right I'll see y'all after the Super Bowl and I can't wait I'm out peace